I'm super excited. I just got in the mail the brand new Loom Cube. Now this is version two that was just released and I want to walk you through what's included in the box and a couple of key tips on how to get the most out of it. So let's go ahead and open this up. The opening is pretty simple, nice packaging, easily opens up and reminds me a lot of Apple GoPro type devices. And what we just need to do is peel this paper off. So there's a nice little tear here. You can see the perforation. Just run your finger along that to get that popped. And then this easily opens up, revealing all the stuff on the inside. Now, everything's ready to go. So you see that the kit can actually come with two lights in the box if needed. And if we lift this up and out, there are a few things underneath, so don't miss those. This includes a connection cable for charging, a hot shoe mount, and the instruction guide. All right, let's set that to the side. Now, what is it that you're getting with this? Well, the Loom Cube is a popular light that's been around for a while, and a lot of folks in video and photography like to use these. Whether it's just to have extra light at your fingertips or to completely light the scene, they're really pretty versatile. I usually keep a bunch of these in my travel bags because they're so small, so lightweight, they're perfect for filling in lighting issues on set. So even though I use professional lights and have lighting kits and all sorts of things with me, I take these both when I'm going to be going solo or even on a full set when I want to just have light that I can use to fill in for small spaces or big spaces. Now, the light itself is pretty straightforward. You'll notice that it looks a lot like the previous generation, but there's a couple of changes. One is that the frame is included. So what used to be an optional accessory is now pre-included. You can slip that off if you want. You see it's just a plastic piece and it snaps into place, making it easy to add accessories. But this is where the different overlays come into play. So there is diffusion included. And what that does is it's gonna soften out the light, give you a little bit of a gentler overall light. Let's go ahead and uh, slip this here on this one that's live. And what you'll see is when we snap that into place, it's just a softer light. And that's great for interviews or small spaces. We also have a warming filter. And this is gonna change the light from the 5600 degrees to more of a warmish golden type light. And those two filters can be stacked, if needed, to be used together. Now, there are a bunch of these filters available from the folks at LumCube in different lighting color temperatures, diffusion amounts, colored gels if you want to light a backdrop or use these for creative lighting effects. So a lot of cool options to make this really versatile. But you do get the two basic ones included right in the kit, and these are easy to stack. Now, here's one of the biggest changes, and that's the back of the light. In the past, you had to use a coin or a screwdriver to open this up. Now, it's just a simple pull tab. Now, there's some pros and cons with this. The previous version of the light did have greater waterproofing. It was really rated for up to 100 feet, and I do take those lights on dives sometimes. This one is only rated to 30 feet. This tab is not gonna be quite as waterproof at those depths. Now, I'm not sure if they're gonna release, just like before, a metal plug that you could put in there. I'll check on that. That'll give you some flexibility for other situations. But it does make it easier to get in and out for charging. Another big change here is the connection type itself. Gone is the micro USB, which I really had little use for. And now we have the standard USB-C cable to connect. This is gonna make it so much easier to plug this into your modern computer and other devices that you have because so many folks are going with this USB-C connection. What else is different? Well, the light itself has a wider field of view. So if we look at some of the specs, it really stands out. Let me walk you through those because they're pretty cool. First up, the light is color balanced at 5,600 degrees Kelvin, which is great if you're gonna be shooting in sort of daylight type setting. It also has an 80 degree field of view, where before it was a 60 degree field of view. This means the light just covers a broader area, which is great for filling in the light in more spaces. It's a little more broadly focused. Beyond that, you'll see that it is waterproof, but a little bit less of a distance. It did switch to USB-C, and it does have adjustable brightness a couple of different ways. So, how's this work? You can power the light on by just pressing the power button on top. And this allows it to turn on and off. So the first button is power. Once that is enabled, 
you can take advantage of the simple buttons next to it. Plus button is going to take it higher. And you see with each click, it goes up. And eventually, it's going to max out at the full brightness. You can then, with the buttons, take it up or down very quickly. And these are in smaller 10% increments. Now, on the bottom of the light, we actually have a built-in thread, which is also cool. This means you could take the hot shoe accessory that comes in the kit, so you can mount this to the top of your DSLR if you're looking for some light for video or to fill things in for constant shooting. And this just threads right into the bottom there. You see it's right there. Just take it and thread it in. That's very easy. Take it back out. This also means you can use it with things like micro ball heads or other type accessories. But here's what I really like. Let's leave that light on for a second. And I'm going to launch the app that they give you, the Lumax app, which allows for control over the light. So we'll open up that app. And it immediately sees the light once it's turned on. It uses great Bluetooth. So as long as Bluetooth is on, it uses that proximity alert. Gone are the days of having to find some code and type it in or look for the serial number. I just see the light. It sees it. It takes my name and my email address, gives me the ability to register it with one click. And now it's successfully registered and connected. And you can see in the app here that I've got easy control. I could take the light, adjust it, and we've got fine control over the brightness here. I could dial in the exact brightness that I want. I could change it to different types, including strobe lighting, or the ability to use this as a flash so that when the smartphone triggers, it's gonna trigger. So let's go ahead here and we'll get into camera mode. And I'll aim that and take a picture. And as I took the picture, it fires it off, even with the option for red eye. So this allows both smartphone photographers and normal photographers to use this with extra light. There's actually an optical receiver in there, so if you were using a traditional flash, you could set multiple ones of these up to light the background or to fill the light in more, and when your main flash triggered, this would trigger, which is very cool. So it means it's not just a gizmo for people using action cameras or cell phones. You could pair this with professional photography light to fill it in or even connect multiple lights to one app. I can drive multiple lights from this app and adjust them independently. So if I want to light a backdrop or do a multi-person interview, I can refine the lighting right from my smartphone. So really cool stuff, great price point. I encourage you to check them out. And these are just versatile. I've taken these around the planet. I've taken them underwater. I've used them in all sorts of shooting conditions inside and out. Whether you just want great light that's as bright as a headlight in your pocket that you can pull out for an emergency situation or use them to light a product photography shoot or take them to fill in some light and create a great backdrop for a video interview. These are really useful. And now that accessories like the frame and the gels are included, you don't have to buy all those accessories to get up and running. You can just pick up one and really jump in and start to get some great results. So be sure to check that out and I encourage you to explore more. In the video description and on the webpage, we've included a special discount link if you'd like to take advantage of that. And be sure to check out what this light can do so you get some great results.